Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fish Dimension. No, I do not have merch. Thank my uh, sister and brother-in-law for this wonderful Christmas gift on my head here. I'm wearing the shirt too. But anyway, we're here at a place that we've never fished before. It's called uh, Lick Creek. And uh, it's supposed to be on fire right now. It's where apparently all the, uh, the crappy went to and uh, everything else too. So uh, we're going to go down and try it, and you're going to come along and see if we can get on these, uh, these fish that are supposed to be here. We've got to walk through this, uh, this field here to do it. So uh, once we're there and on the water, we'll see you guys again. Let's hope so. All right, we're here. Got my rod. Same one I always show you, using this little uh, paddle tail bait that I got for Christmas here today. Going through a couple of these, trying. Uh, I've, been, I've been trying to fish quite a bit. And uh, we just haven't gotten on much, so there haven't been many videos coming out. That and the you know holiday season just being busy and everything. But I'm pretty sure we'll get a video out of today if uh, online buzz is any indication. There's construction going on on this bridge over here, so I apologize for any uh, loud noises that there might be. Uh, nothing I can do about it, really. And uh, you can see what we're uh, dealing with today in terms of uh, terrain. It's pretty thick. You can see my my boot going way in every time. That's why a pair of these boots is uh, really essential. All right. So we're going to see how we do. This water, oh, by the way, uh, what you're seeing here, the color and quality of this water, this is the entirety of the lake and everybody around of water around here. That's another reason that videos have been few and far between because uh, in general, the fish just can't see the baits. So that should explain where the, uh, the fish dimension has been for the past several days, well, weeks. Uh, we're targeting uh, crappy today, but we will uh, take anything, of course. In the winter time, you're lucky if you catch any fish. Yeah, the uh, state of North Carolina has broken its all-time record for rainfall in a year uh, for 2018. And it seems to be continuing very well into 2019. Incidentally, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Always interesting coming to a new location. Yeah, I think I've said it before on this channel, but uh, fishing is many things. But in my experience, at least so far, it is rarely ever quiet and peaceful. Feel decent? No. Well, I should have walked back and show them, but. It's a stinking ball, is that how you Yeah, well, this is what we're walking in. All right, fish. Finally. Right before my camera dies, probably. There's nothing but bluegill over here. Hey. All right, Mr. Gill, thanks for biting. Whew, they are cold. Let's see if I can do this without him getting away. There we go. Beautifully colored uh, winter bluegill there. He's got all the gold and purple. Okay, well, at least we got a video, if nothing else, today. He's got a couple little parasites on him here and there. Not the healthiest stream, probably, but uh, definitely nice to catch a fish. All right. Let him go. <laughs> Swam off right straight into the wall. Good fish. Good fish. That's a good one. All right. How far down are you? Oh, yeah. Is that crappy? Crappy. All right. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Dinner, baby dinner. You still using minnows? Minnow, yep. Okay. Heck yeah. I 
Hello, beautiful. All right, come over here and show that fish to the, to the camera. Might be the only one it gets to see, especially since it's about to die. All right. Nice fish. Very Happy nice. Dinner. Good job, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Cast out there towards the middle. All right, will do. Small minnow, if you got it. I got it. So it's back up battery time. You mm. <sighs> tree right behind me. Oh yeah, that's where they are. Right by that brush pile over there. This is a good one. Awesome. Really good one. Oh no. What's he caught on? Is he caught or is he just that big? He's big. What is this? It might be. He's fighting hard as This might be a catfish. That ain't dinner. Holy s***. Yeah, you got that right. Wow. Yikes. That's a blue cat. Let's wash him off. Yep, that's a blue cat. That's a blue cat. Well, that turned out to be an unexpectedly cool catch. <laughs> I thought he was fighting hard as crap. I thought he was hung up for a minute. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Nice. Yeah. Well, let's let him go. He's been through quite an ordeal. <laughs> All right, thanks for being my helper there, Mel. You're welcome. All right, so the target zone is obviously that the edge of that brush pile out there. So that's where we are going to keep aiming and keep catching fish. Yeah, for a moment there, I thought that was like the biggest crappie I ever caught. All right, first fish of the day. Large mouth. Is that the one that uh, blew up in front of you there? It is. Let's take a look. It's been a while since we've seen one of you. That's, is it a large mouth or a spot? Um, close the mouth. I think it's a spot. I don't know. There you go. Alright, is that that one that made noise right in front of you just now? Yeah, that was a nice <laughs> you got some wood. Minnow almost got away. Had to re-catch him. Does that count as a catch? All right, I decided that underneath this tree where I've seen a couple little blow-ups is worth a try. Oof. God, so many obstacles. I gotta be careful here not to spook them. Whoa, sank deep on that one. I think part of the river actually comes through here normally. Oh yeah, you could, you gotta be careful here, you could put your foot right into the river. What the? All right, I'm on something. I was actually trying to uh, make a troublesome tree go away. 
and it turns out I caught a fish while I wasn't looking. <laughs> I didn't see where I caught it, but there it is. A big, beautiful crappie. <laughs> I looked over and my bobber was down. Oh, I'm going to have to do that again somehow. I can only remember where I cast. All right. Wow. Now that is a nice fish. Beautiful. Now today my, uh, my baby and I are eating. So we're going to keep this guy. He's uh, just about the right eating size. That's really nice. I love these fish. All right. And uh, this is the little guy that I caught him on here. This was a lure I actually found on the ground here, but it was nice and bright, so I figured for this murky water, that's what you want. Yeah, it seems like this place uh, turns on in the evening more, also uh, when all the racket stops. It is so nice to be catching crappy uh, in, in the wintertime, finally. Another fisherman was nice enough to give us uh, some of Chaw Lee's jigs here. Oh, wow. Got that's nice, great. Nice selection of... Uh beautiful custom magic jigs. Yeah, we've been uh, dying to use these things. We just haven't had a chance to put them on yet, so I think I'm going to put one on right now. Yeah, put this one. Yeah, that green one sounds good. Let's see if we can uh, get some more. All right. Just caught another one here. He was close to the bank. All right. So that's my first catch on a Charlie jig. We got enough crappy to eat, right? Yeah. All right. This lucky guy gets to go back. All right. Nice. That is a big fish. All right. All right, that's the first uh, catch on the fish dimension with a Chaw Lee jig. I definitely like the results so far. Got one. Yep. Yeah, take that, uh, take that minnow and come over here. Yeah. That's a good one. Nice one. <laughs> nice. All right, well, yeah, we found the spot. It's like right there. I wonder if that's the same fish I caught earlier. <laughs> nice. All right, well, yeah, we found the spot. It's like right there. Yeah, I let that sit for quite a while and only slightly moved it to get him to bite. Got one? Hey, great job. There you go, surf him over those logs there. All right. Not bad. Make you feel better? That makes me feel better. I finally <laughs> got one today. All right. Finally caught a crappy. Definitely. Oh yeah, they're all out in there. <laughs> nice right. job, babe. Yeah, hold that fish up. Nice little fish. Uh-huh. Little bitty feller. Yeah, that's Cold a good one. Cold as can be. Mm-hmm. But they're still biting. They are. <laughs> all right. Great job, babe. Thank you. Nice hat. Thank you. I like the hat, too. Look, <laughs> fish dimension. <laughs> Look, here we get a good shot of it. Uh-huh. There fish you go. I'm going to put him back yep. in. Dimension. All right, get out of here, little crappy. <laughs> All right. All right. Good job, babe. I'm happy now. Okay. That's good. We'll just uh, fish it out till the end. Yes. And uh, when it's dark, we'll go get some food. Oh, 
Oh, got something. Right on the drop. <laughs> now this might be the time of day. Uh, you stay away from what oh, all that snaggy crap, buddy. Great. Glad I decided to keep the camera rolling. All right, once again on the Chawley Magic Jig. I'm going to be writing Mr. Uh, Mr. Chaw and telling him exactly what I think about him and his jigs. You think they're great? Yeah, we think they're awesome. All right, fine example of a croppe. Going back to the water. Yeah, so incidentally, folks, uh, we lost all the construction noise, um, finally. But then uh, uh, two loudmouths showed up in a boat, and they're banging the oars on the boats and screaming and laughing and having a good time and uh, just generally uh, replacing all the construction noise. So it's, uh, y you really just can't win. I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe there's like some remote lake somewhere that the legend of fishing being quiet and relaxing came from. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we might find, we might have one spot where it's occasionally relaxing. Oh man, right into that tree. I wouldn't have even thought myself capable of hitting that, but I did get it out. Sweet. And promptly wrapped my line up in my reel. Got one? That looks like a good one. Great job. Oh, I saw it too. It was a nice size one. But with crappy, you know, as long as you know an area that they're going to be in, you can really just have an amazing, amazingly fun day of fishing, even in the dead of winter. At least we know this, uh, this spot here is always at least decent. Oop, fish. There we go. He's really jumping. All right. Big fat one. They took it a little far down. He's got a little uh, damage spot right at the uh, top of his dorsal there. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's getting dark, but it's it's right there. Looks like uh, something took a peck at him at some point, heron or something. Let's let him go back to his own dimension. All right, so barring any further luck, I think uh, I'll do the outro now. So yeah, it, uh, Turns out that uh, we had a wonderful day fishing here, which, uh, oh, sheesh. Yeah, same spot practically. It's a smaller one. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to do my outro. Fish uh, did that despite me. Another crappy. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we uh, started paying attention on Facebook and YouTube for uh, people who fish our area. That's probably the best tip I can give you is uh, go on Facebook, go on YouTube, find people who fish your lake or your river or whatever you live on and find out where they go all year round. Because if you can go where the fish are, you can catch them. But uh, yeah, as I was saying before, I was uh, so rudely interrupted by the crappy there. Uh, it's been an, a wonderful day, which is what we were hoping. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. And we hope you'll come back to the fish dimension. Lick Creek? More like Lit Creek. Yeah.